So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that I kind of think about for gifts for gardeners is tools. So some of my favorite tools, I got lots and lots of different types of tools um, here. And, and so I know a lot of us probably think of like a shovel or a, a rake or something like that. No, I'm talking about some kind of unique, different kind of tools um, and even some gift ideas and packages that you can make. So let me show you some of those. Uh, the first thing that I always love is gloves. So we've got a huge selection of gloves. We've got some great gloves. These make great stocking stuffers. So there's lots and lots of choices out there in gloves. Uh, but we have a really, really nice line of gloves. So it's a great time to kind of gift a, uh, a little bit of a nicer pair of gloves, something that might last a little bit longer. I love these. These are made by Digit. These have little pockets for fingernails. So if you're, if you have a nice manicure or you have a nice, uh, uh, your, you know, nails for the women out there, um, then this will protect them because it's got a, an extra protection on the tip of the glove. That's really, really nice for um, the gardener that might have a nice set of nails that they want to protect. So we've got those. We've got a huge collection of gloves, of course. This is just one that I wanted to bring in and kind of show you. Along with those gloves, I really want to show you these kind of cool kits. Um, so Bergen and Ball is a really, really nice um, uh, horticultural uh, supply company that basically supplies really, really nice um, uh, products and gift ideas, but lots and lots of different things that are unique. This is the Royal Horticultural Society. So this is out of uh, Europe, um, and it's a very, very nice, this is the Flora and Fauna uh, collection. This one has a really nice hand trowel and then it's got a pruner in there, but you also can get the set of matching gloves, which are really, really nice. So again, this makes a great little gift collection. Then we even have the little tin with the twine that comes out of the top, love these. So this right here can make a nice little collection, a great little gift idea for some uh, gardener out there that you might have. Uh, and these again are just uh, ideas. This is a really nice collection. Bergen and Ball has been uh, making horticultural tools for many, many years. Um, and so this is a really, really nice collection. And these are things that we carry throughout the year. We, we change up the collection from time to time, but I just thought that was a really nice kind of little set that you get. Along with that, we've got another collection here, a little bit bigger of a collection. This is the British Bloom Collection. So again, from Bergen and Ball, great little gift set. This is a pruner with a sheath. And so this has the holster that basically you can clip onto your belt or put through a belt loop. Uh, but it, you also get this nice little pair of snips with it. Then it also, you can get, you can add on to the collection with this uh, hand trowel and fork set. So a really, really nice set there. And then of course, you can pair it with the gloves. You can pair it with the tin, with the twine in the top. So you get this really nice tin that you can use. Once the twine rolls out, you can easily put, pop in another uh, set of twine or just use the canister for years to come. And then this set even comes with the Nilo pad. So this is Nilo Kneelers. This is a knee pad. It's really, really nice. It's kind of like that neoprene type of material. Really, really nice. Kind of got that, that really cool kind of cushion inside that's really nice on the knees. These can be washed. They're very, very durable. This is a long lasting knee pad. And so we've got a lot of collections of different types of knee pads. We've got the pad, which is like this big rubber pad, which I love for the guys. It's a great gift because you can use it when you're fishing. You can use it when you're fixing your car. You can do lots of different things with it. Um, this one is, is also very, very good for uh, lots of different purposes, whether you're going to a sporting event uh, in the future or you're using it for anything around the garden. It really saves your knees. I love having one of these around. It's a great little gift idea. These also come in lots of different colors. So they come in, you know, just your basic olive greens, your navies, different colors. But this one actually matches this collection. So you can get the flora and, or sorry, this is the uh, British Bloom collection. Sorry about that. And this is the knee, knee pad. Then we've got the matching tin with the twine, and we've got the matching gloves, which are really nice with the suede palm, really, really nice. And then, of course, we've got the fork and trowel set, as well as the pruner set. So a great little collection there. Again, kind of different gift ideas uh, for the gardener. These tools are really, really nice. They're made to last, and it's just a great little look, different collection, kind of a nice little set. Now, you can also get lots and lots of unique little tools here. We have great collection of these small tools. This is also made by Bergen and Ball. This is a Japanese 
uh, Japanese pruning scissors. So these are longer handled, designed for helping with bonsaiing. So again, just kind of a cool little set of tools, a, a cool little, uh, a different kind of collection. You know, sometimes we go out looking for different tools and collectibles um, for our, our pruning needs. And this is a really, really nice one. This Japanese pruning scissors, really, really nice. Made by Bergen and Ball as well. I love these houseplant pruners. Let me take these out so you can see these. These are really neat because they have a curved edge. And so I know a lot of us are getting into houseplants these days. Let me see if I can get into it. Um, but houseplants um, are really, really becoming very, very popular. A lot of us have them. A lot of us are trying uh, to grow different uh, indoor plants. And so look at this pruner. It's a really nice, small, handheld pruner. Very lightweight. It's got this great little clip right here so you can open and close them with one hand. Um, but what I love about these is this curved blade. And what that does is houseplants are tender typically. And so to get in there with a sharp blade to be able to cut, this really helps. It kind of separates those leaves and those stems as you go in there. So think about like a peace lily. If you've ever pruned a peace lily, you know there's a bunch of little shoots coming up. Um, and sometimes you got to get in there and get some of those leaves out. And sometimes they're in the center. And so to go in there, be able to kind of push those leaves apart with the pruners and then open them up and snip away. So these are a really, really nice pair of handheld pruners. Really great little gift idea. Again, it could be a stocking stuffer. You could wrap it up in a nice package. It comes in this really nice uh, display package here. Um, but this is made by Bergen and uh, Ball as well, and it's the houseplant pruner. So another really cool tool. Uh, we also have a great collection of bare bones. Bare bones is a, a set of tools that uh, we found a few years ago. Really, really nice hand tools. Lots and lots of different collections here. Uh, let me show you a couple of my favorites. So this is a hand trowel. This is a really, really nice hand trowel. So you can see that kind of really pretty copper. This walnut handle, which is really, really nice. And then let's see if I can get this out without ripping up the package too much. Well, that's really kind of sealed on there, isn't it? Oh, there we go. All right, so this is a really nice hard steel hand trowel. And it's got a nice sharp blade on it too, which I really like. Just a very durable, great again for a gift for a guy, but really anybody that gardens a lot is going to love a nice hand trowel. It's one of those tools that we constantly kind of have in our little gardening bag, uh, something that you'll never uh, not need. And this is a really, really good one because it's got that kind of sharp edge to it. It's a really, really nice durable hand trowel. So again, another nice gift. And this is made by Bare Bones. I don't know if you can see that, but Bare Bones, really cool company. I'll show you a couple of their other tools that I absolutely love. Love these pruners. This is a pruner with sheath. This is just a really, really nice, heavy duty. It's a, I'm not gonna take this one out of the package, but it's just got a really pretty um, holster on it, which I absolutely love having a holster. Um, but whether you're getting Felcos or whether you're getting just a nice set of pruners or even just a cheap set of pruners, having a holster is very, very helpful. Keeps it really handy right on your back pocket or your hip. Um, and this one's got that nice belt clip so you can attach it to your belt real easily or your pants. Um, but this is just a really, really heavy duty set of pruners made by Bare Bones. And it comes in this great looking gift package. So really, really love those. Absolutely can't go a day without my scissors. Um, these are garden, sitter, gar garden scissors. I use these pretty much exclusively for harvesting vegetables. Uh, one of my favorite tools. They come in a short blade too, a little bit of a shorter blade, um, but that great handle set, great for, again, pruning, uh, bonsais, but also I love them for harvesting my vegetables. They have these nice, long, very durable. Um, I, I've left them out in the weather a couple times. They still hold up pretty well. I clean them up, use a little WD-40 to kind of clean them up, make sure they won't rust or anything. But these are really, really nice walnut inlaid handle, really, really nice set of pruners. Um, and made to last and they're durable and they're heavy. And so when you feel something and it's got that weight to it, you know it's really, really well made. Um, so this is a really nice set of garden scissors. Great for cutting flowers, but also for pruning your vegetables and fruits and stuff like that. Uh, really, really easy. It's, I love that long kind of scissor that you can get in there and cut those tomatoes or whatever you might be harvesting. Another really kind of cool tool from Bare Bones. Uh, I also grabbed this one. This one's not Bare Bones, but this is a uh, bonsai. Uh, pruner as well. This one's kind of nice because it's got really thick anvil uh, style uh, bypass. It's not an anvil, it's a bypass pruner, but they're bonsai shears made by Escher. This is a really, really nice set of bonsai shears. 
Really cool look again. Again, that durability, that weight, you can feel it. You can feel how good it, and the quality is on that. So, and then of course my last bare bones tool, which I absolutely love. I use it when I go fishing. I use it when I'm gardening. I use it all the time. It's kind of one of those handy tools that I kind of bring around with me anywhere I go. Let's see if I can open this one up without messing up the package too much. Because you really got to see this one. This one is the bare bones hoary hoary knife. So I'll show you that really nice package. Again, a great looking gift package. Um, but this is a really, really nice one. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Might have to use my, well, I don't have my pruners, but I've got a knife here. So let me open this up just because you got to see this guy. It's really, really well made. And it's got some unique stuff going on with it too that a lot of people don't know. So this is the Hori Hori knife out of its sheath. So this is the sheath. It comes with a really, again, nice durable sheath, really heavy duty canvas. Um, and then it's got this great belt clip so you can attach it to your pants, your belt, but then there's the Hori Hori knife. So what this is, is it's a lot of different things. It is, um, this is a hand trowel. It's also got a serrated edge so you can actually cut small limbs with it, but it also helps when you're digging and you get to a root and you can cut through a small root. It's also got a sharp blade on this side. Love this blade. Uh, really, really good for opening up stuff, opening up soil bags, whatever it might be. Always really handy. It's got this down here, which is a twine cutter. So you can see that twine cuddle, cutter. I've also used it to open bottles. So if you're having a drink after you're done a long day of gardening, then you can pop a bottle with this. Um, but it's also a great little twine cutter or any kind of uh, gardening cutter that you might need. Um, and then it's also got the inch markings. I don't know if you can quite see that. Let me see if I can get it in some, some, some light there. So you can see those inch markings there, which helps you uh, determine if you're planting bulbs or if you're planting something and you need to know the correct depth. This will tell you what depth you're at. So last but not least, it's got this really, really hard bottom, which is great for pounding. So you can actually pound a steak into the ground. Let's say you're working in the vegetable garden and you need to stake up a tomato, then you can pound in your steak with this bottom. So it's got a really hard base to it. Really nice walnut handle again, very, very nice. Comes with this great looking sheath. Now you can buy just the Hori Hori knife. I think those came in, I'll have to double check. Um, but I love it with the sheath. You might as well get the sheath. It really, really completes the look in the set and keeps it nice and handy for your gardener when they're working out in the yard. But again, so versatile, you can use it for so many different things. Love this Hori Hori knife. Really cool look too. Very modern, very kind of outdoorsy. You can take this camping because you might need it. It's got lots and lots of versatility, but great for the gardener. Awesome in the garden. So love that bare bones, Hori Hori knife and all the tools. Um, I see a comment there from Tony saying, can't wait until you ship out of state. I agree, Tony. Uh, we're getting there. We're working diligently to get there. Um, and then a couple other little tools that I'll show you because I got a couple more here. Love this guy. This one uh, we actually haven't had for a few years. Um, this is made by Eschert as well. Eschert's a great little company uh, that delivers to just gar local garden centers. So you're only going to find this in your local garden centers. I'm not going to open this one up, but it's a tool. It's a, it's a stool. So you actually fold these legs apart and you get this nice little stool here. It's also got this great bag underneath. Um, it actually has turned into my tool bag, really. Um, it's got a great handle. So you got the set of handles, but you can open this up and you can make it a stool. You can actually disconnect the bag if you want to. And so you can have the stool separate and the bag separate. You can put them all together so you can kind of garden uh, and weed right there in one kind of fell swoop. You can use it as a gathering bag. So you can kind of see right there in that picture, there's a hole and you can kind of drop your weeds in through that. It's a great little stool if you're gonna be sitting for a while working on a small project in your yard. This is really, really helpful. Um, and so this paired with a kneeler, it's gonna save your back, it's gonna save your knees. Um, allows you to kind of stay in one spot and get a project done if you're working in a small area. Uh, really, really nice to kind of have something like this around. For those gardeners out there, they know what I'm talking about. Uh, you definitely want to save your knees as much as you possibly can. And of course, the list goes on and on with tools. I mean, I've got my expandable rake, which I absolutely love. Lots and lots of different tools. We've got cheap pruners that you can stick into the stocking. We've got the really nice Felcos if you want to get uh, a really, really nice gift for the gardener, something that's going to last them years and years. We've got lots of ranges and pruners. Pruners are great gifts for gardeners. They always need pruners, trust me. Now this is my last tool I think that I'll have to show you, I believe it is. Um, it is the Weed Slice made by Bergen and Ball again. What an amazing tool. I absolutely love this tool. So if you need to go weed a section of your yard, you don't really want to spray. You don't really want to get down and hand pull. This little guy is the tool to have. So this 
comes on this nice long handle. We've got short handle ones too. We've also got the, jo the jumbo weed slice, which is a much bigger blade, so it covers a little bit more ground, but this is a great tool. So this I had, I don't, I think it came from my grandfather. Um, it came from his tool shed. Um, I grabbed it, I've had it. I didn't really know what it was. I started to use it as a weeder, and then I saw these, and it is an old school kind of way of weeding, um, but it's a great, great way. Um, so this is a weed slice. It goes right through the earth just like that and you just cut off the roots and you can go a little bit deeper if you need to, if you need to, um, but you can also just kind of skim right over the top surface or right below the top surface and it just cuts those weeds off. Um, and if you do it at the right time, then hopefully the weeds don't come back. Now, of course, weeding, if we we're going to do it properly, we want to like to get all the roots out, but sometimes you can go through and weed with this, throw down some pre-emergent, mulch it, and hopefully they don't come back. That's a great way of doing it. And this covers some ground pretty quick. You'd be amazed at how fast you can get the weeding done. So if you've got a gardener in your life that hates to weed, which I think all gardeners do, um, then the weed slice might be a great tool to get them this year. And of course, it's really fun to try and package this. You know, try and <laughs> wrap that up, real fun. Um, but I love the weed slice. Um, I've had my grandfather's for years and years. I think it's just a piece of metal triangle basically attached to the bottom of a pole, and I use it all the time. I absolutely love it. So um, check out that. We've got lots and lots of other tools, as I mentioned, um, but we'll go over kind of some other things that I, that I kind of love to gift uh, for those gardeners out there. So the next one would be birding. Of course, I'm gonna do webinars. I do webinars all the time on birding, on how to attract birds. That's not what this one is. This one's on gift ideas for, for gardeners. Birding is the next, if, if gardening, I'm pretty sure gardening is the number one hobby um, in the United States. Number two is probably birding. Uh, birding kind of goes hand in hand with uh, gardening. When you're outside, you love the outdoors, you love to be in nature, and there's no better way to enjoy that than to invite some of our feathered friends into our backyard. And I can uh, definitely show you how to do that through lots of different webinars, but this one's just gonna be kind of showing you some unique different ideas that we have around the store. One thing is, is you can still get hummingbird stuff. So if you've got a hummingbird uh, lover out there uh, that you want to give some gifts, you can make a great little gift set. So of course we carry this great um, dye-free hummingbird nectar. It comes in this really nice kind of wine bottle. So it's a great bottle. It can, you can get the, uh, this is the ready to use, but you can also get uh, the concentrate. So this is a great little gift. Makes it a little bit nicer looking, really pretty packaging. Uh, we've got the hummingbird swings, we've got hummingbird cleaning, uh, pipes and, and all those different things, ant moats, all that different stuff. Uh, but this is a great little gift. And then of course you can pair it with a hummingbird feeder, something new to add to the collection. So this right here would make a great little gift set. Again, you can bag this up, box it up for your gardener. You get a brand new hummingbird feeder, you can get a little swing, a hummingbird swing, and the nectar. So again, just another great gift idea. Uh, it's never too early to start getting ready for the hummingbird season. Um, as they have migrated south, they're going to be migrating back up north before you know it. Uh, in a couple months, uh, they'll be back and, and so we'll be ready for them if you get some hummingbird stuff ready. Um, also, along that kind of same line is bees and uh, beneficial insects. And so this is a mason bee house. We still have a great collection of these. Um, you can find these a lot of different places, but we have a really, really nice collection. Um, and so bee houses are really, really popular. These are mason bees. Mason bees are non-aggressive, very good pollinating bees. So if you've done a vegetable garden and you didn't quite get enough pollinating done, you didn't get a, a huge crop, it might be because you don't have enough bees coming to visit your garden. And this is a great way to invite them. It's a bee home. They're solitary bees. And so they're actually not going to uh, live as a group, although they will live in individual holes like this. And so this is a really cool one because you can actually go in and clean them out. So this is a kind of a cool different one where you can actually take these sections out and clean them out. Um, but you can also protect them over winter if you want to, but usually they do very well by, them say, by themselves. They'll pack mud into these, seal themselves off, seal their eggs off, live in there over the winter, and then the new uh, uh, group will hatch in the spring and you'll have a whole new group of pollinators. And these are local native mason uh, bees that we already have. Um, these are not um, the boring type of bees. These are not the bad bees, these are the good bees. Um, so really, really nice bee house. We got a huge collection of these as well. And then of course our birds. Um, we got a great uh, set of birds that live here year round. Cardinals and finches and chickadees and, and uh, lots and lots of different types of birds out there. Blue jays. Um, so we've got lots of birds. The, the woodpecker uh, assortment here in Virginia is awesome. We'll talk about all those later. But a great gift for the gardener would be a bird feeder, a bird house of course. 
So I grabbed one of my favorite bird feeders. This is kind of that classic style kind of barn look, which I absolutely love. Really kind of nice. It's a double sided feeder, but it's also squirrel proof. So you can see when you get too much weight, it closes off the ports. You can actually change the weight allotment. So if you've got a lot of blue jays that maybe are closing it, but you want to attract them, then you can also change the, the weight um, uh, a limit there. So if, if the weight goes up a little bit, then it's okay. But this will close when squirrels are on it. They can't get to it. They won't mess with this feeder. It's great. It's really, really durable. It's all metal. It's a really, really high end, nice feeder made by Audubon. Uh, lots of different styles of this as well. We've got the taller chalet style. We've got blue ones. We've got this really pretty one. We've got the one with the barn and the uh, rooster on top, which I absolutely love. But this is a great one. It holds a, a fair amount of seed. I think it's two pounds. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I see that where it says, oh, four pounds. So this will hold four pounds of seed, which is a lot. So you won't have to refill it too much, but it's a great feeder. And we've got, of course, a huge collection of different feeders out there. Think about what you want. I always love to get a squirrel proof feeder. It's kind of my number one thing that I always recommend is get a squirrel proof feeder. Um, if you're trying to feed the squirrels, we can do that different ways. But if you're trying to uh, just feed your birds, get a squirrel proof. The seed will last longer and you'll get a lot more enjoyment out of it. So squirrel proof feeders are one of my go-tos. And we got a huge collection of different ones. Of course, bird houses are always so much fun to collect and use around the yard. I absolutely love these. So these are made by a Nature's Creations. This is actually a uh, Made in America product. These are actually made in Illinois, southeastern Illinois. Um, and so it's made by a family that uh, has a lot of old barns and different uh, materials in their um, family history. And so over the years, these buildings have become run down, but they're repurposing the wood and the metal from the roofs and different elements. And of course, they're getting some different elements here and there. But all of these are unique. They're different. They're handmade. They're very, very unusual. They're very different um, and lots and lots of different looks in them as well. So this one's really cool because it's got this little pot over here made out of wood with a little moss and then this little metal vine coming up. It's got this metal roof. This really kind of uh, really nice, handmade, unique, different birdhouse. Love them. It's also got this great clean out area so it makes it really easy to clean out. So you just pop this out so we can clean out our bird feet, or our birdhouses if we need to. It's got that nice big opening. And then you can seal that off. It's nice and safe and rain tight. It's really tight, which is good, but they're really unique. I've got another one here that I can show you. So if you want to hang it, there's a hanging one as well. Look at that. Look at that. Those, those little pieces are just really neat. It's got this little metal up here. It's got a little metal right here. It's got these little doors, but then it's got that great hole there. And then it's got some adding uh, little wings on the side is what it looks like. But they're really unique, really different. Uh, I just love them. I just think they're really cool. I think it's a cool story. Um, it helps out a community in Illinois. They're uh, made in the USA. They're really unique and really different. So nature's creations. These are bird houses um, and they're really awesome. And we got a great little collection of them right now and they make great gifts. I mean, I would like this just in my house. I think that would look really cool in the house. You can use it outside. They're weatherproof. They're designed to be outside. They've been outside for hundreds of years. It's all uh, old barn wood that, uh, that has just uh, been repurposed. So it's really kind of a cool little project. And then of course you can pair off your birdhouse, your bird feeder with some bird seed. We carry uh, pretty much the uh, a good selection of coals. Uh, we also carry Wild Delight, very nice high-end bird seeds. Um, lots and lots of different collections. This is one of my favorite ones. This is Cole's Special Feeder, which is kind of a mix. It's gonna attract a lot of different birds, like woodpeckers, cardinals, finches, um, a lot of your songbirds. This is really a great songbird food. But Cole's is a really, really nice blend. There's not a lot of filler. There's hardly, I don't think there's any filler, filler in here. So it's all black oil, sunflower meats, black striped sunflower, raw peanuts, and safflower and pecans. So there's no Milo or, or all that filler stuff that you get in seeds. Again, I'll talk about that later in another webinar if you're specific want to know about birds, but this is a great bird seed. We've got a great collection of coals as well as wild light, which are great gift uh, bird seeds to give for the first birding uh, uh, attempt. If you're a first timer, if you're giving it to a gift, if you're giving it to a birding enthusiast, uh, th they will love this because they know the quality is there. So lots and lots of different types of bird seed as well. Maybe for the, the uh, birding enthusiast, for the gardener, uh, you might want to do something like this great little pail. So this is a really nice, again, made by Bergen and Ball. So it's got that really, really high end look, really modern. It says feed the birds, comes with a little tin top. 
and it's got the little leather strap handle, but it also comes with a little scoop that you can hang from the side. So another great way of gifting something. You could fill this with bird seed for them. You could throw in a gift card for McDonald Garden Center so they can come in and get some bird seed. But this is a really nice kind of little tin that you can keep your bird seed in. And of course, there's tons of other accessories that you can get for your bird uh, lovers out there, your bird watchers, uh, the people that want to invite those feathered friends into our backyard. This is a great little gift but there's tons of them. I couldn't grab them all. There's too many. Squirrel Buster Feeder, my favorite feeder. Uh, lots and lots of choices out there. All right, so let's move on to uh, something that's a little bit different, maybe. Uh, you know, think about outdoor statuary. This is a great gift. Um, of course, this is a small little mermaid, um, this is a, but this is all concrete. It's a real statue, so this is a really nice, well-built, well-made. We've got a great collection. This is a small one, something easy that I can bring in here, but we've got big things, we've got small things, we've got fountains, we've got bird baths. We've got lots and lots of different choices for the gardener. So if your loved one, if you want to get them a really nice special gift, this would be something. Again, this is coastal, it's a mermaid, but there's lots and lots of different things out there. Bunnies, dogs, rabbits, all that fun stuff. Lots and lots of different choices. But think about statuary, think about outside, think about different ideas. Especially when they open up this package, they'll say, oh, did you get me a brick of gold? But then they'll be really pleased to get a statue that's gonna last them many, many, many years in the garden. And I think people that have statues in their garden know that these last a long, long time and they're great and the value is really, really nice because they're gonna last a, a good amount of time. So we've got statuary. We also have a great selection of clothing at both of our stores. So uh, at our Independence location as well as our Great Neck location. So here at Independence, we call it our barn boutique. At Great Neck, we have uh, Angie's Cabana. Um, Angie's Cabana has a little bit more jewelry, a little bit more, um, but the Barn Boutique has a great selection of clothing as well as lots of other things. So this is a first item that I thought I'd kind of bring in. I didn't want to bring in a lot of clothing. I don't want to show it off. I don't know that I know much about a lot of its women apparel, um, and so I don't know a ton about it, but we do have t-shirts and other different types of things, but this is a really nice scarf that comes in this great gift package. So again, when you're looking for those gifts and you come into the garden center and you're just kind of like, ah, I'm not quite seeing what I want, then you could always get a nice little scarf or something easy to pick up. So you can get a lot of people checked off your list here at McDonald Garden Center because we offer so many different things. So a scarf would be a great option and there's lots of other clothing ideas. As well, we, get, we carry a nice line of scout bags. So scout bags are really, really nice. This is the lunch bag which is really nice, so it's insulated on the inside. We also carry a lot of drinking, uh, different cups. You know, these are so popular. My wife absolutely loves these cups. We've got a huge collection, but this is the Orca. So Orca is a really, really nice one with this nice kind of top. It's really cool because it kind of reminds us of the coast. So really nice with that kind of whale fin top close, closure. So really nice Orca uh, insulated uh, coffee or beverage cup in our Scout bag. We also have a ton of these Michelle designs, um, uh, soaps and fragrances and different lotions. So we've got a huge collection of these. These make great gifts. Um, these are really cool because they are very garden inspired kind of scents. So this one's lavender or rosemary. That's why I grabbed this one. Uh, lavender or rosemary, of course, make you think about outdoors, make you think about your herb garden or your uh, outdoor areas. Um, we've got lots and lots of different soaps, foaming soaps, uh, uh, um, uh, hand sanitizers, I think we just got in. We've got uh, lotions and lots and lots of different things. They even come in that nice little set where you get the lotion and the soap and a nice little carrier that you can put right next to your uh, bathroom sink. This is a great one for the gardener. Also, we have lots and lots of foods. So these are really cool. These are local uh, preservatives and lots of other things like jams, uh, relishes, sauces. We've got a great collection. I just grabbed one. This is the cherry preserves. They're made in Virginia. They're made with locally sourced um, uh, fruits and vegetables. So it's a really, really nice mix. Uh, lots of uh, different ones in here. I know like the Hampton Roads, the traffic jam was a very, very popular one. It's got like five or six different types of fruit in it. It's really, really good. I just grabbed this one just to kind of show you to check these out. There's a huge collection of these of all the different uh, local McDonald Garden Center foods, uh, preservatives and relishes and sauces. So lots and lots to look for there as well. 
Um, of course, it's the Christmas season, so it wouldn't be Christmas without ornaments. We still have a great collection of ornaments. I talked about how to decorate with ornaments, and one of my favorite things to do with ornaments is to gift them. They make great gifts, so if you're kind of like, I don't know what to get this person, but I always get them something, I need to get them a little something, a nice ornament would be pretty. I just grabbed this one, it's one of my favorites. I love these kind of glass uh, ornaments with this really kind of unique antique top to it. So just grab this one because I thought it would be kind of nice to show. But also there's a huge collection of ornaments still. So if you're coming in and you kind of need a gift idea or if you need something small to attach to a present, I love to wrap a gift and add an ornament to it. Makes a great little uh, uh, accessory to a gift. Also, we've got our heirloom collection ornaments. So we still have lots and lots of different ones here. I grabbed the Old Point Comfort Lighthouse. So I know that's a very popular lighthouse um, in the area. Um, and so I can show you this ornament. This is hand painted. So you got these really nice, this is Old Point Comfort Lighthouse. Really nice uh, image there. And then of course, the one here with the lighthouse and the house next to it. Um, so we've got a huge collection of those as well. You might see something there that uh, reminds somebody that maybe used to live here that you want to send them a gift. Um, this is a great option, our heirloom ornament collection. Lots and lots of choices there. All right, let's move on to some more gifts for the gardener. Um, things that I, of course, uh, love to think about um, is seeding. Spring is around the corner, and so I think seeds make a great gift, especially for the stocking. So if you're looking for a stocking stuffer for your gardener, uh, this is a great option. You can also add it as a group of something else. I'll show you here in a minute. But these are Renee's seeds, which I absolutely love. I just grabbed a small collection of like some carrots, cauliflower, uh, cucumbers. I got some beans. I got some cilantro. I've got some uh, garden candy tomatoes. So maybe it's something that you're not quite sure if they're going to love, but trust me, any gardener would love to get a pack of seeds because there's lots and lots of things that we haven't tried out there and we love to try them. And seeds are super valuable. You get tons of plants out of one packet of seeds. These make great gifts. Renee garden seeds are really nice. We've also got the Lake Valley collection. We've got more coming in. So it's a great gift. And again, I always think back to the gift card. If you're not quite sure what to get a, get, uh, a gardener, a gift card to a garden center is a great option, and McDonald Garden Center's got a great one. Um, but of course, seeds are great. And then, maybe one want to start making a little collection for that, for that gardener. So, we can get this great little caddy, which, trust me, anything to carry our garden tools, we love. Even if this just sat on a shelf in our home, it would be really pretty. But you could throw some seeds in there. You could throw a nice pair of gloves in with it. So we can throw a pair of gloves in there. So we've got a caddy, we've got some gloves, maybe a pair, a pair of pruners. I love Bergen and Ball makes a great little collection of these gift ideas. This is a paper pot maker, so it shows you how to make a pot out of paper. So you can recycle those new newspapers or different types of pieces of paper around your home and you can make a pot and this will make pots for days and days and days. So if you've got somebody in your life that loves to grow things from seeds and they're always having to go out and buy pots, this is a great little tool that they might like to try. It makes three different sizes of pots, so you can see right there. Um, so it's a great little gift for the gardener. Easy to use, lots of fun, fun for the whole family, but also another great gift that we could add into this little set. Um, we could throw in the matching twine holder. So this one says, have a, um, how long is a piece of string? Twine in a tent. So this one is just a nice little thing that goes uh, on with your garden caddy. And so again, anything that holds twine, gardeners love. We're always in search of, where's my twine at? This is a great little set. And again, this could sit inside your home. It's so nice looking, but it could also sit in a nice little potting porch outside or in the garage. Just a great place to kind of, for the gardeners to collect all their little needs, all those little things that they have that they use every day out in the garden. So a great little option there. It also matches remember my seed bin. So you can get a whole little collection here for your gardener. Um, we can throw in some other things with it. Like I absolutely love this ruler. This is a seeding ruler. So this really helps. I'll talk about this more when we do webinars on how to seed your yard, your garden. But this tells you your spacing. So like let's just pick one lettuce. Eight inch spacing for lettuce and turnips. So this will help you space your lettuce and turnips on an eight inch scale. So you can actually lay this down in a raised bed. It's a yardstick. Um, so it's uh, uh, about a yard long, 
and you can lay this down and you can actually seed with it. So you can take those holes and you can use a little pencil or whatever and get your right depth, a dibbler, um, and then you can drop your seeds in each hole and you know that you're spacing it at the right spacing. So this is a great little tool for the gardener. It's awesome, I love them. And so it says, let's go through the, the line and just kind of read some of these. Two inches for carrots and peas, three inches for onions, four inches for radishes, six inches for beans and leeks and parsnips. So it just goes on and on up to 18 inches for tomatoes, 24 inches for cauliflower, 36 inches for, or sorry, 30 inches for Brussels sprouts. So lots and lots of different uh, assortments there. It gives you the length. It also gives you your centimeters if you want that in centimeters, but it also gives you the inch spacing so that you can seed according to your package. So another little great gift for a gardener. Uh, let's see what else. Watering cans. We'll start to get into a little bit of the watering stuff now. I absolutely, I guess I shouldn't say I hate to water, but I've been watering for 17 years of my life as I've been here at McDonald Garden Center. So it's one of those things that when I get home, I definitely don't love to do unless I've got the right tools to do it. Um, so of course, a nice watering can for those indoor plants. Lots and lots of, uh, of uh, different options here. We've got a huge collection of these nice indoor watering cans. Again, this is made by Bergen & Ball to match a different collection. So if you wanna add a whole collection and give a nice little gift set, we've got those options, but we've got lots of lots of unique little uh, watering cans. And we've got this size, we've got slightly bigger ones, we've got the big outdoor ones. We got lots and lots of collections here, but a nice watering can that you know is gonna last. Easy to fill because this is just like a drinking cup, it's like a mug but it's got this great little pour spout. Lots and lots of options for watering cans and indoors. There's nothing better than having a small watering can that's easy to fill up fast and easy to water all my plants with. Um, of course, misters. Misters are great, a great little gift. We've got a great gift set that comes with a mister as well as a, a plant nanny. Um, we've got lots and lots of different collections. We've got a huge collection of misters. Um, so if you've got somebody out there that might collect misters, I know some people that do that, um, but also people that maybe have indoor plants but maybe aren't super successful with them, you might get a mister. There's a lot of plants that love to be misted um, and a nice mister sitting on the shelf not only looks good, but also is functional. So if you've got tillandsias, different types of plants like that, uh, that love to be misted, there's a lot of collections of different misters. Great gift for the gardener. Not super expensive. You can get them anywhere from $9.99 to $14.99, even up to $29.99 if you want to get like a solid brass one. So there's lots and lots of choices on misters. And we got a huge collection of them here. Um, let's see, what else do I have? A couple more things. Um, as I mentioned, the, the watering, the plant nanny. Um, then we've got, this is a really, really cool one. This is a plant saver. Um, this is kind of the same idea as a clay spike. So let me go through this one real quick. This is a great uh, gift idea for uh, the gardener, um, but also for a stocking stuffer. It's a really, really easy one. So this is just the clay spike. So you can just get that solid clay spike. And then of course you can drop a wine bottle into it. You can drop a lot of different things, a, a two liter bottle if you wanted to. But this clay acts the way that clay does, which is when it's moist, when the soil around it is moist, then the pores close up. As the soil dries around it, the pores will open up on the clay and allow the water to come out. So if you've got somebody that loves their plants, but maybe is planning on taking a vacation in the future, um, then this would be a great option for them. But also it's just great to have around the house because sometimes it's just like, ah, this plant just seems to want to be evenly moist. I know I had some ferns on my front porch. I did recently plant them. I had them in a pot for many, many years, but this was a great option to be able to water those because they kind of like to be evenly moist. And so I could just stick this in there. I could fill it up every once in a while. It's super, super easy. It's a great gift. I love having these around. Um, so not only do you get just the clay spike, so we can do just the clay spike, or you can get the gift set, which is comes with this nice bottle as well as the clay spike. So you get the whole set. There's another gift set that comes with a mister and um, a watering spike, as well as I love these, whoop. I love these little guys. So these are really cool because it's the same concept, same idea, it's a plant saver. Um, and so what you do is you just unravel this little thing. This is a, let's see if I can do this real quick without taking it apart too much. Maybe not, but this is one of my favorite little tools. It's an old fashioned thing, but it's actually been uh, kind of rehashed because of again, this indoor gardening craze. This is a really easy way to water plants uh, because it gives you a long tube. So you can put, put this into your plant. You drop this weighted in down here into a glass bowl of water, or any kind of bowl of water, some reservoir of water. It can be any size that you want, which is great because if you have a big jug, 
then you can water a plant for a long time with this. And basically what you do is you fill the cap up. So you just take this cap off. You're going to soak this for, I think it's 15 minutes. Don't quote me on that. But um, you soak this clay spike. Then you fill this with water. Then you pop the cap back on. You drop this into your reservoir. You put this in your plant. Same concept. As this dries around, the water pulls out of the filled up tube. And then as it fills up, it siphons up the water out of the, uh, of the reservoir. And it's a great way to water your plants. So if you got indoor plants and you're gonna be away for maybe, maybe it's a beach house, maybe it's something that you're not there all the time at, this is a great option because you can get a much bigger reservoir. But if you're growing a lot of indoor plants and you got those plants that love to be kind of slightly evenly moist, this is a great option again for you. Really, really easy trick to help with your watering. Um, so we've got a lot of different collections of those, tons of different watering uh, maids. We've got some pretty ones, ornamental ones that can go outside. We've got birds, we've got lots and lots of options. So we've got a huge collection of plant nannies, as I like to call them, uh, or watering maids, uh, but basically ways to, to help you with your watering. Um, also, when watering, when you water every day and you water outside and you might think, oh, a hose is not a good idea to get somebody um, that you love uh, a gift for holidays. But I will tell you, if you water a lot, this is the most important tool that you probably have. And this is my favorite one. This is zero G. This is what we are converting our entire garden centers over to. We absolutely love these hoses. They're very, very well made. Uh, it's a lightweight hose. It's not like the shrinking hose. So, which I never really liked because if your water pressure wasn't as good, it didn't really fully expand. This does not expand or contract or anything. It's just a very lightweight kind of fabric covered hose. Um, I won't pull it out, but it's one of my favorite hoses. Trust me, it's awesome. If you see, I always tell people, this is my kind of favorite little trick to tell people, is if you see people that do a job for their entire life or for do it for a long portion um, of their working career and they, and they have these tricks, that they can tell you. Um, I know there's a lot of them out there in different fields, but for gardeners, uh, we have to water. It's part, of the, it's, part of the, it's part of the thing, it's part of the project. It's part of what you have to do is you have to water your plants. And so you're gonna need a hose and you're gonna need a way to get the water out of the hose, onto the plant, around the plant, not on the plant. Um, and this is a great option. And I didn't bring my watering wand, but to pair this with a watering wand, my, one of my favorite tools, the rain wand, is a great option for the, for, for the gardener. They will absolutely love it. I know it's not really nice, it's not real pretty, it's not as pretty as my gardening set, my gardening tools and all that stuff, but it's functional, and sometimes functional is the best thing that you can get a gardener. Um, these are really, really nice, very durable, lightweight, so as you pull it around your yard, it doesn't snag, it never kinks, so you don't have to worry about that. It is the hose of the future, I do believe it. Um, at least for now, until they come up with something better. But this is one of my favorite hoses. We use hoses every single day. And there's nothing worse than lugging a huge heavy hose across the yard. This is the one to get, zero G. It's my favorite. I've got it in 50 foot lengths. Here in the spring, we're gonna get even more sizes. We'll get the 100 foot length as well. Um, we are waiting on a lot of stuff to come in for the spring. That's why I always go back to my gift card. So if you're not quite sure, tell them, hey look, you know, here's a gift card from McDonald Garden Center. You're a birding enthusiast. Go uh, in, in a month in January and February. They're going to be fully stocked. You know, they're getting more of these hoses. And we, we have a good collection of the 50 foot, which is the common size and one of my favorite sizes. So we still have a lot of gifts in here. I just kind of also want to throw that out there. If you're coming in looking for a zero G hose because I, I got you inspired to buy one and you want the 100 foot, uh, get two of these 50 foots, the same price, but you can also wait and give them a gift card. It's a great option. But zero G hose is my go-to hose. The rain wand, which is that long metal pipe basically that we use to water everything. There is not a hose here at the garden center that doesn't have a rain wand attached to the end because it's just the best way to water. It's really, really awesome. Uh, let's see, we've also got another hose that I really like. And this one's great for if you've got small spaces, maybe you've got a, a boater uh, that's, that's in your life or somebody that, that you know just needs a small little lightweight hose. Maybe they've got a balcony or something. This is a great little gift idea. So especially for small spaces because you get this little gift bag with it, which is a nice kind of water resistant bag. And this is called the Fit Flow Hose. It's, it's an Italian designed hose. It's kind of the same thing. It's a rubber hose, super, super lightweight. I mean, this might weigh a pound. I mean, it's super, super lightweight. You also get the spray nozzle, which is more of a cleaning off type of spray nozzle because I love my rain wand. But if you have to water with this, you can still water with it. It's got six different settings on it, so you can change whether you want a mist, a flat spray, a jet, a shower, any of those, uh, and it comes with it. So you get this nice little set here 
with this really nice bag. It's nice and durable. So again, for somebody that maybe is boating, that you know is always constantly kind of bringing home their hose from the boat, this is a great option for you. Um, so the Fit Flow hose is another really, really nice hose. Something for smaller spaces, balconies, stuff like that. Maybe you got a community garden that you need to get a little hose for. That's a great option as well. All right, if we, we wouldn't be a garden center if we didn't talk about plants. Of course, plants are a great gift. Um, it's a great way to show up at somebody's home uh, when you're visiting them for the holiday season and to give them a nice orchid. So I love this orchid here with this really pretty ceramic pot. It comes with it, comes with this great grapevine. Look at that grapevine, kind of as part of the stake. And this is a really pretty white Phalaenopsis moth orchid. Really, really easy to, to grow. It's a great looking little plant and it's a great gift idea. Uh, there's tons and tons of plants. So if you've got a collectible, a, a collector out there, maybe you want to get them something different. We've got unusual plants. We've got more coming in. Uh, so we've got a huge collection coming in. Maybe it's somebody that you want to get into gardening. Maybe it's somebody that, you know, has uh, unfortunately had to have their office at home. Plants make you more productive. So this is a great gift. Uh, it keeps you a, a little bit more motivated. It, it stops the stress. It brings a little bit of that outside, inside. It's a great idea. I know my wife now is getting a, a nice big collection of indoor plants uh, for her indoor uh, at-home uh, office. But this is a great one for beginners. Pothos, super, super easy. Medium light, doesn't require light. Uh, a, a lot of, of work. It can go on a wet, dry cycle, so it's super, super easy. This is a great pot. So we've got a huge collection of indoor pottery. We've got just a, a, a massive amount of selection of these, and we always are getting new ones in, so you can always check out those. Another great reason to give a gift card is, you know, you can always check out something new as it starts to arrive here in the spring. Uh, but these are great. This one doesn't have a hole in it, which is really nice because it can act as your saucer as well. So you can drop that in. You got a great gift. Throw a little bow on this and you just really made somebody's day. This is a great little gift idea and easy for a beginner indoor gardener. Um, but also, even for somebody that's been gardening for years, I would love to get a pothos. And I love, I love plants. I love anything you can do a little bit of flowering indoor plants. Um, this is an anthurium. Again, a nice little collection of indoor pots. Just a great little slip-in opportunity. Acts as your saucer. Slip in your anthurium. And there you go. Got this great little flower. Easy, easy plant to grow indoors. Really nice blooming indoor plant. It's kind of like anthuriums and peace lilies are the ones that just keep on blooming. They're super easy to grow. Here's just another nice little pot that I grabbed. I think this is a rubber plant. I don't even know. I just grabbed this plant. Oh, it's a ficus. It's a burgundy ficus. So, yep, it's kind of like the rubber plant. Kind of, they call it a rubber plant because uh, it looks kind of fake. It looks kind of artificial because it's always got that nice sheen to it. Really pretty plant. But again, there's a huge collection. Ferns, different types of plants. Gift card goes a long way because if you're not quite sure what kind of light they have, then you can always get them a gift card uh, or you can always throw in the receipt and let them return it if they want to pick out a different plant. But this is a great option, great gift. Because we're a garden center, of course, we have lots and lots of plants to choose from, whether it's orchids, foliage, uh, succulents. We've got a huge collection of mini plants. I love those little mini plants. You can give them a little gift set of like six different little mini plants, maybe a terrarium, they can make their own. We've got terrariums already done for them. Um, so we've got a huge collection. And then of course, I go back to the gift card, but we've got annuals, perennials, trees and shrubs. We've got a huge collection of indoor plants, a great selection of pottery. So it's very simple to come in here. We can help you. We can help you pick out a plant. We can help you pick out a pot and you're ready to roll, and it's a very, very easy kind of process. So there's lots and lots of gift ideas. Of course, I couldn't touch on everything. There's so much that we offer here at McDonald Garden Center. So, um, of course, I couldn't uh, touch on everything, but I think some of those are great ideas. Um, so, again, if you're in our neck of the woods, come and check us out. If you're out of the country or out of the state, then go to your local garden center. Check out their birding selection. Um, you know, now's a great time to, to support your local businesses. Um, hopefully they're not struggling. Hopefully they're doing okay uh, through these rough times. But uh, it's a great time to, to check them out, support your local businesses. If you have to go to Home Depot and Lowe's, okay, so be it. But if you can come and support a local garden center, it really, really does go a long way. Um, and those people work very hard and they're knowledgeable. And so they're gonna be able to help you. If you say, hey, I need a low light indoor plant, we can tell you what those are. You go to Home Depot and Lowe's, you might not get that information. Uh, but we got a lot, a lot of collections here of different things. So think about those ideas, tools, 
you know, talk to your gardener friends, talk to your gardener loved ones, and say, what is it that you hate doing in the garden? Um, and then get them something to help them with that. Uh, but also, great gift ideas. You can never have enough pruners. You can never have enough twine. You can never have help with weeding out in the garden. So if you need help with weeding, we can help you with that. Uh, gloves always make a great gift. Seeds, birding, anything in birding I think is a great gift, whether it's hummingbirds to beekeeping to birdhouses or feeders or bird seed. Great collections there. Lots and lots to choose from. And then of course all of our gift ideas like all our local foods, our plants, our indoor pot collection, our ornaments, the list goes on and on. So I know that's a lot. I know there's a lot of different things there. Um, and so I hope you can come in and see us. If you can't come in and see us, go to your local garden center. Check them out because I'm sure they have great gift ideas. I hope this helped. I know Christmas is right around the corner, uh, but there's always a great time to give a gift for a gardener, and we always have a great collection, whether it's birthdays or anniversaries or whatever it might be. Um, we have a great collection of gifts year-round. We always have our gift cards, so if you're just not quite sure, a gift card goes a long way. And to give a gift card to a local garden center is a great option because they know that you're thinking of them locally, and they know uh, that they're going to get the best information from a local garden center. So I hope that helped. Hope everybody had a great day. Um, Eleanor, Wendy, Robin, Mary, Tony, Deborah, everybody, I hope you have a great day. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If not, I'll see you on Friday when we talk about the winter burning uh, and, and how we can attract some of the, our feathered friends uh, to our backyard for uh, the winter season. It's a great time to think about them and help them out uh, in their time of need. Now would be the time. So we'll talk about that on Friday. We'll take a short break and we'll be back in January. So hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays to everybody. If I don't see you Friday, have a Merry Christmas and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.